All right. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'll be explaining what furries are in one to two minutes, starting now. A furry is an enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics. In particular, a person who dresses up in costume as such a character or uses one as an avatar online. Example being a fursona or furry persona. This definition sucks, so let me give it a shot. A furry is someone who has an interest or fascination with anthropomorphic cartoon animals, or cartoon animals with human characteristics or traits. Examples of anthropomorphic attributes include exhibiting human intelligence and facial expressions, was watching speaking, scene. walking on two legs, and wearing clothes. You can oh find anthropomorphic God, animals present in common that. children's cartoons Zootopia. and other animated media, Since such as Looney Tunes, Pokemon, Digimon, and a variety of Disney films such as The Lion King, Robin Hood, and Zootopia. These are examples of the different media outlets in which people can acquire interest in furries or the furry fandom. As a furry, you will likely do things from commissioning art of your fursona to attending furry conventions and meeting other people with similar interests to making lifelong friends and being able to express the person you want to be. The furry hobby you acts more like a platform or niche community to meet people of similar interests. What you do and how you interact with others will shape your experiences and adventures you have in the fandom and beyond. The concept of furry is no different than any other geek or nerdy hobby relating to a common interest or franchise. It really isn't that deep. It can be a lifestyle or identity for some with a job or stronger connection in the fandom, but overall, it's just a hobby that they may partake in for a variety of reasons. So ultimately, there's nothing wrong with being a furry. If your Shut friend up. or someone you know is a furry, it's likely just a chill thing they participate in outside of regular life as a means of breaking its monotony. And it's no different than any other hobby out there. It's no different than you coming home from work or school to play video games with friends, watch anime, or go over comic books. I mean, books. I do watch the anime, do that but nowadays. not much. Am I out of touch? Am I an out of touch boomer? Jesus. The furry and fandom watch promotes V2. creativity and personality. It creates a safe space and shows major support for the LGBTQIA plus community and charity oh, organizations man, around the world. Homophobic. But ultimately, the furry fandom revolves around the common interest in cute and fluffy cartoon animals. And that is what it means to be a furry. Bitch. I think... I think I just fucked up. No, 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 I mean, not just because I'm gonna turn into very, but seriously, that doesn't make sense. We don't care. I don't care about any furries. I don't care what matters to be a furry or not. I don't really give a shit about it. This is a gone for real when furries, when people become furries. I'm not happy with it. I am not even a furry. We, I'm a furry hater. I want to say they're still cringe and we don't care about furries. I don't know what are you gonna do if they're gonna take over the world like furries. No, if furries take over the world, what are we gonna do to us or the internet? I really don't care about you. I don't care about anything about the stupid furry fandom. We are wrong about furries. There's something wrong with furries. It's an unknown truth. We don't care. I'm not going to say that you're not going to say, why you hate furries? Is that I am not going to tell the truth. I only, look, I don't hate animals. But I really hate is furries. Shame on Beta. You never learn. You never learn entire life. You never Bye.